Worldwide edition. It's time to. You know the rest. I'm just gonna do a couple of duels in this old Game Boy Advance game with a deck that I built using today's traditional format rules and. Well, I, I wanted to battle the Pharaoh. Oh well, I guess I don't really have uh, much of a choice in that matter because they, they kind of switch on you sometimes. And you're probably. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter anyway, because I'm pretty much going to win every single duel with my ridiculously broken deck of death. <laughs> well, it's broken for the era that I made this in, and what cards I have here. Uh, I'm just going to summon Gemini Elf and set this as a bluff, and end my turn. Let's go, baby! Do your best! Oh, I'm going to uh, attempt to make this video as if I have been making Yu-Gi-Oh! videos because there's just too much to explain in the game for a newbie. <laughs> so if you are a random person coming to this video that knows stuff about Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, uh, there you go, you're gonna know what's going on, but if you aren't, well, you might want to look up the rules on the game, as well as uh, get to know some of these cards that I'm playing here. Uh, I should take a mention that Gemini Elf and Force Raider I know are pretty much outdated nowadays, <laughs> but in this era, they were cream of the crop. And is that oh, really all that he's got? Come on, man, you can do better than that. Woo! Sleep Warrior! I, I, I would normally not overextend like this and play so many cards, but he's not setting any face down spell or trap cards, and it's like, well. I can, because there, he doesn't have Mirror Force or anything like that down, so I'm not going to get my monsters blown to bits, so there we go, I'm just going to keep plucking away at his life points, and yeah, you aren't really going to get to see much of my deck, are you, if I keep <laughs> killing him at this, this rate, Dark Magic Ritual, what, what, so I got Tribute to the Doom, so that doesn't really matter. Um, I use Tribute to the Doom typically in combination with Sinister Serpent. Yeah, it's a ridiculously broken card there, uh, but I'm going to just use it on its own and discard Gemini Elf to destroy the Magician, and I pretty much win. <laughs> yeah, and that's uh, duel one of this video. That was an extremely easy duel. <laughs> Oh, and also, if you're a random person coming in here that knows about Yu-Gi-Oh! that was just looking at for Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, you will not understand my commentary style unless you've seen more of my other videos. Ah, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> you've probably left the video by now if you got turned away. Uh, anyway, let's, let's pick ourselves a card pack, see what we get. Um, hmm. Not really all that good. <laughs> Uh, what, who do I have to duel here? Well, uh, let's see if I can get the actual Pharaoh this time for the fun of it. No, really? Seriously, you're gonna you're gonna switch again? Okay, I'm just gonna reset the game then. If you're gonna play like that, <laughs> I don't waste time, man. I already whipped his butt, so what's the point of showing that again? Yeah, though I do have to get through the uh, title screen. This is basically me just playing games casually in case you don't realize that. Give you a little special experience. I'm gonna <laughs> cycle through these, uh... Oh dear. This is Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door all over again. I'm gonna cycle through the people and see if I can get some different people to play against. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll play Arcana. The Dark Magician Man, just for the heck of it. I mean, if I can't play the Pharaoh, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe he'll provide me with a uh, actual challenge. But then again, Yugi showed that he's pretty capable in later episodes of the anime. Uh, anyway, let's get this started. Oh yeah, you see the, the ridiculously broken cards that I have in my hand here, and I forgot to show you my deck. But, uh, that's okay, I'll show it after this duel. 
What should I do? What should I do? I'll set Sangan and end. I'd like to wipe out his back row if he's actually going to have a back row with Harpy's Feather Duster, or he's just not going to attack at all and do much of anything. Come on! What's it going to take to have a good duel around here? <laughs> Makes you want to flip Sangan just so like he'll attack it. You know, because he'll see the card. Oh no! Morphing Jar number two. Reshuffle. No, that's got to go to Grave. That one is two. Come on. Get some monsters! Jesus! <laughs> Burning a lot of cards in my deck, that's a pretty good card if you want to run your opponent out of cards, but otherwise it comes out pretty even in the end. Alright, I'm done. It's kind of sad that I didn't get to use Sangan, though. Ah, <sighs> that's a pretty awesome card. So Who uses Silver Fang? Well, I know Yugi did in the anime, but... Well, come on now. It's, it, realistically speaking, in the actual game, even... Even when the game first started, did anyone play Silver Fang? No! You played La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp, or Seven Colored Fish. You would never play Silver Fang. <laughs> There's better alternatives in that era. Especially in this one, where you have Force Raider, Gemini Elf, and Slate Warrior as your uh, main four-star arsenal. Four-star monster arsenal. What you got? Oh dear. Wait, what did, what did I set? No, I'm not gonna use that. Come on, try and attack me directly. You're not gonna try and attack me directly. <laughs> I guess he doesn't have any monsters? Well, he's gonna get another direct attack himself. <laughs> uh, I love you, Slate Warrior. You are a versatile card. It's like... It's a powerful level 4 that deters your opponent from actually attacking it, because of its effect, because it'll cut its attack and defense by, uh, 500 points. Yeah, it's fine. You can discard all the cards that you want, it's not really gonna <laughs> do much to me. I should say you can kill as many cards as you want with discard. What did he discard, anyway? What? He's playing Knight- Oh my god, why am I battling this guy? Knight- Look at this card! It's a- It's a normal monster with 900 attack points and 800 defense points. Alright, I'll summon my witch. <laughs> and attack him directly. I don't have any other more powerful monsters, so I guess he succeeded in slowing me down. But he would have did a better job of just like discarding another card that he could have played. Maybe he's like protecting his dark magicians in his hand or something like that. And he set face down. I'm just gonna MST that sucker. Uh, hello! What card do you have down there? It is. It was a trap card. Magic Jammer. Uh, I mean, so it's nothing really paid up. Um, to use that card on Mystical Space Typhoon because it would have got destroyed anyway, so that makes sense. And you'll notice I didn't tribute for the Fiend Mega Cyber, even though I could have won this turn. I'm just giving him another shot. Because, you know, I would have tributed for the Fiend Mega Cyber and then attack him directly, then use Bell of Destruction to destroy the Fiend. But I thought I would give him a shot. <laughs> Alright, Arcana, Merrick should fire you. You are not a very good bad guy. <laughs> Alright, we gotta find we gotta find some some people that are actually good here. Um Ceasefire is like the only good card in this pack. I suppose Spellbinding Circle is playable, but there's much better cards than the Spellbinding Circle for trap cards. I play Ceasefire over a Spellbinding Circle for the uh Flip for the effect of it stopping flip effects. And whenever you get a card pack from this magazine, the cards you get are never, ever good. You might as well just throw these cards in the trash. <laughs> or use them as trade bait or something like that. Anyway, let's see who else I can do. Oh, wait, that's right, my deck. I gotta show you my deck. Uh, you can see what's in my uh, side deck first, I suppose. I don't play Imperial Order in my main deck because of the fact that uh, the computer AI in this game is horrible! It'll actually play magic cards when Im Imperial Order is out, and that'll just keep nullifying them. Crush card doesn't really fit my deck, but I just have it set on the side. An extra Gemini Elf if I want more aggro love. Card destruction for Exodia, as well as extra draw power, I suppose. 
trap prevention, obviously. Uh, this card is actually a pretty decent card if you take a look at it. it you could actually destroy face down magic or trap cards on the field if you flip it up. And, that, and it does two of them too, so that's pretty impressive, I have to say. So I'll just have that set in there. Giant Trunid, it's a uh, returns magic and trap cards at hand. Defense lowering Penguin Soldier for hard to destroy monsters. I believe there's some. No, I mean, maybe I don't have. I mean, there isn't any monsters in this era that are hard to destroy with normal means. I, I don't know, I just have it in there. <laughs> it's also good defense because it returns two monsters rather than just one monster, like say with Hain Hain or destroying one with Man Eater Bug. But I would prefer destroying monsters most of the time. Magic Cylinder, it's. It's a minus one that does a lot of damage and blocks a attack, so I don't typically use it anymore. <laughs> I used to use it though, but not, not anymore. Nobleman of Crossout, great for decks that play a lot of defense. Um, here's my main deck. You can see how the quantity of the cards above that 40. See where main deck is highlighted as one delinquent duo. All of these are pretty much self-explanatory. Sinister Serpent for any discard effects, uh, Sangan and Witch for tutor effects, Torrential Tribute is the Trap Hole from Hades, <laughs> uh, Snatch Steal is an awesome stealing card, take your opponent's monster, tribute it, attack with it, whatever, Pot of Greed, Change of Heart, Mystical Space Typhoon, all pretty much staples, gotta have as many MSTs as you possibly can, it just destroys the opponent's back rows, it's very nice. Uh, I was thinking about switching one of these with a giant Trunid, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, Cyber Jar. Cyber Jar is awesome. What, what can you say? Ragaki. Self explanatory. Monster Reborn. Tribute to the Doom. Come out with Sinister Serpent. Very nice. Jinzo. You gotta have Jinzo. <laughs> well, I guess it's been sort of replaced by Mobius the Frost Monarch nowadays, but in this era, Jinzo reigns supreme. Mirror Force, you know that card. Magician of Faith. Oh yeah, bring back powerful magic cards. More aggro support. This deck that I'm playing here is like an aggro control deck. So it's it's got the um, powerful monsters, but also the monster destruction and as well as spell and trap card destruction to control the field to my advantage. So it's like an aggro slap control deck, I guess you could say. Wait, I just I just said that, didn't I? I, I am an idiot. <laughs> Uh, magic Jammer. Prevent the strong magic cards in this area. It's a good uh, combo with Sinister Serpent, the Fiend Mega Cyber. I'd play it over uh, the Summon Skull because of the fact that it's easier to summon in most cases. Morphing Jar. You can generate a crap load of card advantage with this card. Uh, Call of the Haunted. Bring back monsters. Barrel Dragon is like the coin flip tribute to the Doomed as well as a um, powerful attack monster in general. This is pretty much the most powerful monster in my deck. I don't play with powerful monsters, I play with low level monsters and use the powerful ones like Call of the Haunted, Monster Reborn, or Premature Burial and stuff like that. I'm gonna cycle through these peeps and see if I can get some actual better duelists. Because <laughs> whenever you check a passenger, they'll, they'll cycle the duelists around a bit and uh, maybe I'll battle Bakura. Maybe I'll get his evil side. Yahoo! It's his evil side! He is actually one of the better duelists in this game, so I think this is going to be the last duel that I'll be doing in this video. I hope it'll be a good one. Please, dear lord, be a good one! <laughs> Let's see what we got here. A crap load of broken cards. And Maneater Bug. <laughs> I guess the Fiend Mega Cyber isn't that broken. I guess uh, Mystical Space Typhoon isn't either, in a way. But the way that it can generate card advantage if you, like, uh, uh, chain it to a card to destroy an opponent's other spell and trap card, that's a mean little trick to gain uh, a plus one in card advantage. Bye bye, Legend. <laughs> um, you gonna do anything in your back row? No, you're not. Wow. <laughs> And I don't have any monsters to summon. Oh my god, this is actually going to be a decent duel! Because yeah, I can't summon this unless there's two monsters on my opponent's side of the field, so... I must wait for him to attack me directly, and then I'll steal his monster. <laughs> or I could steal and tribute it for the Fiend Mega Cyber, that would work as well. 
And thus he took first blood, but that's not really all that much to my deck. Uh, ooh, oh my. This is very, very nice situation I have here now, because I can snatch steal uh, his Lajin, do a load of damage this way, and then tribute it on the next turn for the Fiend Mega Cyber. Dear Lord, stop asking me if I want to play cards! I don't want to play it! <laughs> I know, I know I have all these opportunities to play Mystical Space Typhoon, but I do not want to play it. Alright, let's see what you got. Yeah, I know he gets a thousand life points from Snatch Steel. Gravekeeper Servant. It's, an, it's a good card if you want to run your opponent's deck out of cards, but otherwise it's not really going to be uh, a game-winning card otherwise, because it's... It's just sending cards to the graveyard, not the cards your opponent draws, so it's not really gaining you any card advantage. That was Black Pen that it... When it goes to the graveyard, I take 500 points of damage. Big deal. Uh, I'll do Change of Heart on his face down and then tribute it for... Um, it's Wall of Illusion. If I would have attacked that, it would have bounced the monster back to your hand, whichever one I would have attacked with. Uh, let's... Let's see. I don't think I'll be able to win this turn. I don't think that's enough attack power unless I miscalculated. Yeah, it's two Gravekeeper Servants, so two cards from my deck are going to the grave. Oh no, I, I, I uh, must have miscalculated by like a thousand or something like that in my uh, in the head map there. Oh, come on, how, how hard is it to find a good duelist? How hard is it? That's it, I quit. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next random video. Wait, let's see what cards I get. I'll pick this one this time. Jinzo, I love you so much, I want to kiss you, even though you're kind of gross looking, but at the same time you're hardcore, but I respect you, man. I respect you. What were the other ones? Axe of Despair was a decent equipped card in this era. I prefer United We Stand over it. Or even Mage Power. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I guess two good cards came out of that pack, but I got a crap load of these, so I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. See you later.